The seventh month on the lunar calendar is known as the Ghost Month in Chinese folk culture. During this month, wandering specters and ghosts visit the world of the living to enjoy offerings of the people. During the month, people of Taiwan pay close attention to their personal safety and avoid uttering the word "ghost" for fear of incurring bad luck. Various lunar festivals are held across the country. Companies and households alike prepare sumptuous offerings to feast the ghosts and spirits, so as to secure peace. On the eve of the Ghost Month, paper lanterns are lit at the Lao Dagon Temple in Keelung, giving directions to the lost ghosts and spirits of the ancestors and other deities in visiting this world of the living to be feasted. In the first year of Emperor Shenfeng in Qing Dynasty, armed skirmishes between Zhangzhou and Quanzhou ensued, and several local elderly stepped out to mediate the conflicts. The mediation was successful, and in the fifth year of Shenfeng, the Ghost Festival officially began. The celebration now has 154 years of history. During the early years, the lanterns were hung around the ordinary household in the Ghost Month, and the people prayed for blessings and hoped that the lights would direct the ghosts to the realm of the living. But with the advent of modern-day lifestyle, people nowadays leave the lanterns in the temple instead. All the celebrations and events related to the Ghost Month and the festival kicked off the moment the door to the other world is opened. The release of the water lanterns is the centerpiece of the Ghost Festival in Keelung. The parade before the release of lanterns is a carnival in its own right, with floats, folk performances, international art troops, and pageants lining the streets to entertain the audience. The crowd drifts. Toward the shore as night falls, the water lanterns made by various clans are ignited amidst the chanting of the Taoist priests. The water lanterns drift off on ebbing tides. It's best that they drift as far off as possible in order to better guide the ghosts on the ocean back to their world. Ghosts and deities dictate the Chinese concept of good and evil and their morals. Be it a customary practice. Or superstition, these traditions that are passed on by the ancestors serve as a reminder to people today that it is best to show respect for the spirits and the unknown.